We are losing the ability to predict the weather. Maybe I can uh, make a lot of money. We can definitely be lucky to find more um, minerals. The icebergs are getting uh, smaller, but we can really feel it. Local residents in Greenland are witnessing some changes. When I was a kid in South Greenland, it wasn't we could predict the weather like a week ahead by looking at the clouds, by looking at the uh, wind direction and knowing when was the last storm and so on. So we could predict it really well. But we can't do that anymore because almost like every third day there's a storm now. So we cannot go out for long, longer hunt, hunting trips or fishing trips anymore because we never know when the weather's going to change. I think we had sea ice from from November till beginning of June, and uh, the, uh, the sea ice was about uh, one and a half meters thick back then. So we don't have the sea ice like in the old days. We had a sea ice this year, but uh, it was there like days, not months. Greenland is losing a lot of ice, and it's such a big number, it's hard for most people to imagine, but it's something around eight or 10,000 tons per second. So that would be more like the entire daily water consumption of a 10 million person city every second. There's a good chance that we might lose more like 30% in the next century. Greenland is the world's largest island. It has an ice sheet whose size is second only to that of Antarctica and is very sensitive to global warming. CGTN talked to some residents there. Their perspective on a warmer planet isn't entirely negative. When I go to the ice sheet, we can definitely see like uh, the ice has melted like 40, 50 meters. But the ice sheet is still so huge that it, it, it kind of doesn't matter for us that there's 40 meters more land appearing. It's not affecting our everyday life yet. Eventually, at the end of this century, when the ice has melted even more, yes, we can definitely be lucky to find more um minerals that are mineable uh, under the ice surface. So there used to be fewer caught fish in, in where he, he's from uh, when he was a kid, and they almost never saw any salmons. But now he's um, seeing that people are catching salmons and, and much more caught uh, compared to when he was a kid. There's been a lot of uh, climate tourism. Uh, maybe I can uh, make a lot of money out of uh, this uh, climate uh, change uh, talk. We are worried about something else. Like we are under pressure regarding uh, uh, inflation uh, that is going on right oh, yeah. now. The weather is growing more and more unpredictable. However, the warmer temperatures have also brought some benefits resulting in Greenlanders having mixed feelings about climate change. In South Greenland, it might mean a longer shipping season, easier development, uh, uh, things like this. But in North Greenland, uh, where there is a more traditional lifestyle using the sea ice for dog sled activities for hunting and recreation and transportation, there, I think, you know, climate change means less sea ice, and that's a very negative thing. But I don't think that is unique to Greenland. I think you find that in every country in society, is that there's some people or sectors that are less negatively impacted by climate change than others. At the global scale, there's clearly more losers than winners from climate change. A big aspect of climate change is what we call climate justice and making sure everybody has a fair future, making sure that the countries that will not lose so much are in good coordination with the countries that do stay and to lose a lot or everything. That is, of course, critical to the solution. Over the long term, it's still a question whether Greenland will stand to lose or gain from climate change. But residents say whatever happens, they will adapt. We adapt to the nature. So no matter how, how the weather changes, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. 
for us because we are to adapt to it. So we just accept the changes. Um, that's how life is. When you think about our forefathers till uh, 1800s, um, they have been nomad people. They always adapt, and um, we will adapt. Uh, we always. Adapt.